Fordham men's basketball team is making a fast break to regain its reputation as an Atlantic 10 powerhouse. Thanks to Fordham Athletics' newfound support of the men's basketball program, as well as a major coaching change, it seems as if the basketball team is making some big plays both on and off the court. Headed by newly appointed head coach Tom Pecora, the boys team has been doing things a bit differently from their former losing seasons. Well, you know, one of the things that I've always built our basketball programs on, anywhere I coached was defense and rebounding. And if you can do that, you can get out and run and play exciting offensive basketball. But I'm probably better at teaching and coaching defense and rebounding. Offensively, I think players have to play with freedom. I think that they, uh, you know, the more they think, the slower their feet get. So you have to let them play off their instincts offensively. It's our job to recruit young men who have that ability, you know, that can really score the basketball and have certain offensive traits. But uh, that's kind of been the way that we've had success. So far, the changes have been well received by the players. Team captain Brenton Butler explains. He's really, he's really teaching us um, every day. We learn something new. I'm a fifth year guy and I'm still learning stuff. Um, and, you know, he's not ashamed to say that he's learning things as well. So it's, it's, um, it's just good to have a teacher um, as opposed to, I mean, he's also a motivator and things like, like that as well. But um, he really teaches the game and, and we learn a lot from him. After winning only one single game in their Atlantic 10 Conference between the fall of 2008 and spring of 2010, and going 2-26 and overall last season, the men's basketball team seemed to be falling apart. Fed up with their lackluster record, Fordham Athletic Director Frank McLaughlin decided to make some major changes. I think the, the key is, I'm going to tell you, this is getting players. You know, you can have the greatest coach in the world, but if he doesn't have players, it's hard. And Tom Pecora has brought in some, some very good young players. So what's happening is the young players have helped make the returning veterans better. However, young players and a new coach doesn't complete a winning package. The team also needs their fan support. The Fordham Athletic Department has started a dynamic marketing campaign meant to increase game attendance. Fordham has been offering great incentives for fans, such as t-shirt giveaways and contests, such as this American Airlines free throw challenge, where two lucky students won round trip airline tickets. You know, it really completes the student experience. Uh, if, if you're here and you're not coming to sporting events at Fordham, you're not getting a complete student experience. And, uh, you know, we've done pizza walkthroughs in the dorms. I've done meetings. I've been out autographing posters for students. I encourage them to come to practices as well as games. Uh, we've had a couple real good turnouts. Obviously, our first game was that. We got a lot of giveaways that we're doing. And I think once they come, they'll enjoy the experience. And thousands have enjoyed their experience with the revamped Rams. Just a few weeks ago, this entire gymnasium was sold out for their game against St. John's. There's a real buzz in New York City. Everybody is pulling for him and Fordham to be successful. And Fordham has not been letting them down. So far, the Rams have surpassed last year's two-win record three weeks into the 2011 season and won against longtime New York City rivals, Manhattan College and St. John's University. And hopefully, if they keep it up, Fordham won't be sitting on the bench anytime soon. For Ion Fordham, I'm Carolyn Wegeman.